Hi folks, Claude here. This is part one of a many part series about dealing with virtual instruments in the orchestra. And we're going to cover everything from preparing the instruments to the final mix down. So quite a few parts. Now I've got loaded in here the Acoustica Cello, a piccolo from East West Quantum Leap Symphonic Orchestra, and Kirk Hunter's Violins. And we're going to look at how I deal with each one of those individually. Now I like dealing with dry libraries because then I have control over how the reverb is applied and how much reverb is applied. If you deal with what libraries, you're kind of limited there and in some er other areas that we'll get into in other videos. So let's have a look at the Acoustica Cello first. You can see that there is some reverb. Let's get rid of it. Just right off the bat. So you're going to have kind of a dry sounding instrument now. If I play on here. Now, I like adding EQ to every one of my instrument tracks for the simple reason. First of all, you want to get rid of all this bassiness that could possibly be there. And, uh, you know, in one of the books I've read, it says if you can't hear it, you don't need it. So if it's if the instrument isn't producing it, you don't need it. So th this is the instrument as uh, flat. I've, I've taken the active part off of it. Play the lowest note. Then you go up your EQ. You see that does nothing, so I got rid of it. Same thing here. Got rid of it. First thing I should do is turn on the EQ, I guess. There we go. Nothing. 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 Can you hear that? You don't want you don't want that hum going on in the background, especially when you got 30 or 40 tracks going on at the same time. So this is where we start our roll off down to nothing. Now at the top end, I'll pick a note that will probably be my top note for the cello. That's too high. There we go. Nothing. Nothing. Nothing there. Hear that? So we want to get rid of that. All those are kind of extraneous notes that are picked up for some reason with a digital recording. If I bypass the EQ, now if you had cellos actually sounding like that, there'd be a lot of broken cellos and cellist bodies laying around at the end of, a, of an eight hour rehearsal. So let's try to make, this is the realism that you, you want, okay? Sounds like an actual musical instrument. So that's what we do for that. Now let's have a look at the East West Quantum Leap Pick. There we go. It's up here. You can hear all the reverb on there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off the stage mics and turn on the post mics to dry it out as much as possible. There's still 
A little bit of ambience there. That, that's probably the best we can do. Okay, again, it needs to be EQ'd. On this one, I like just using the, the normal uh, Acoustica EQ because it, it doesn't really make that much difference. So here it is flat. Oh, it's not flat, it's active. There we go. Hear that? That's his frequency. So we want to get rid of that as much as possible. That one affects the sound, so we don't want to really do anything with that. Nothing happens there. And again, digital edge that uh, isn't really in the instrument that much. So here's our piccolo sound. And I, I prefer not to have it reverb there, but uh, the instruments are too nice, so I still use them dried out to that point. Finally, we have the Kirk Cutter Concert Strings 3 violin section. And let's just bring up the EQ at the same time, too. So every time you get a new library or a new instrument, you should go through this little procedure and then save it as a preset. You can see here that I, I saved a Kirk Hunter violin, and this is the preset that I use for it. And it's, it's saved in there, so I don't have to go through this each time. You just need to do it once. Anyway, without, without the presets, I can hear all the edginess up at the top there. You don't really need that. In fact, again, it's, it becomes really irritating after a while. And uh, listening to people who don't do this, uh, their tracks really get to me. Now let's listen to it with the EQ on. To me, that's a much better violin sound. Anyway, that's it for this video. Next time, we're going to talk about applying early reflections.